look at this gentleman over here. Let's start on this side. Do you know this gentleman, kids? What is the name of this gentleman on the side here? Come on, I can't hear you. Okay. The next one, who is the name? No, 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 I don't hear you. Come on. Now the next one. Who? And the last one on the line? What, what did you say? Voila. So the kids are so excited to see you. And thank you for being here as well. Let's warm up one more time. Is he say? Come on, say Kigali. We all say in Kigali. Not only Paris, you know. Okay, kids. Now it's your time to talk to your superstars. Okay? Time for you to mingle, to ask any question. You be brief, and you name any player you want to answer the question. Isn't it? My name is Mugabo Sharma. I am 12 years old, and I play and I play for PSG Academy Rwanda. I would like to ask this question to Sergio Ramos. Who was your favorite footballer when you were younger? Keylor Navas. Hi. Buenas noches. Thank you uh, for everyone. And uh, for your question, for me, is I don't know now, but uh, I think to Ronaldo from Brasilia, you know him, he played in Real Madrid. Um, for me, I think to the, the striker, the, the good number, number nine. You had the answer? Ronaldo, el fenomeno. Ronaldo uh, Nazario da Lima. Nazario da Lima, okay. So you're good now? Okay, it's questions, questions, okay? My name is Biamari Masavo. I would like to ask this question to Julian Drexler. What experience did you like the most in Rwanda? Uh, it was clearly today to see the gorillas up in the mountains. Uh, it was amazing. I, I will never forget this day in my life, I think. And uh, wanted to thank you all to welcome us here. And we really enjoyed our time. But uh, especially today, uh, I think this day I will never forget. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh -huh. That is Julian Draxler, number 23 for PSG. Okay, Kit, one question for you. Um, this is for Navas. Um, what made you become a goalkeeper? Um, difficult, eh? <laughs> Buena pregunta. Um, yo decidí ser portero cuando tenía cinco años y... Este, vi un partido de niños y un portero hizo una parada muy buena y desde ahí fue como el sello que me marcó para poder ser portero. Le dije a mi papá que si él me podía llevar a una escuela de fútbol y así fue. Y gracias a esa oportunidad que me dieron, hoy estoy aquí y soy portero. Thank you, Kayla. Um, yes, that's a difficult. It's a good question. I decided when I was five years old. I was watching a children's kickabout and this kid made an amazing save. And that save stayed with me. Um, I asked my father straight away, can I join a football academy? And that's exactly what happened and I'm very grateful for the opportunities that I've had since then. Yeah. Beautiful, thank you so much. Okay, a young girl over here. You have a question for who? Navas. Who was your favorite goalkeeper when you were a child? When I was a child, uh, my favorite goalkeeper was uh, Gabelo Conejo. He is a goalkeeper from Costa Rica. And uh, the really, I, I was two favorite goalkeepers. The other was Lester Morgan. He's the other goalkeeper from Costa Rica. He, that's it. <laughs> my name is Crispin Mandi Kalamgire. I would like to ask you a question to Navas. What, what is your best childhood memory about football? I think the best memories about football is was I won the Champions League. I, I think this was a beautiful moment. And 
I I want to I want to be there in the same position the next year. Okay. Okay, kids. Yeah, you believe you have a lot of questions for Mr. Navas only. Any other else? Who? I have a question for Sergio Ramos. Okay. So, um, how does it feel to how does it feel like to be in Rwanda? Eh, <coughs> la contestó en español mejor <laughs> esta. Bueno, primero quería decir gracias porque desde el primer día que llegamos el recibimiento por toda la gente de Ruanda ha sido maravilloso, extraordinario. Nos llevamos un, un cariño muy especial y un amor muy grande de, de toda la gente de, de aquí con el que nos ha tratado. Hemos intentado devolverlo haciendo una gran visita eh, aquí a vuestro país y, y nos llevamos una experiencia inolvidable, no solo por por los safari, por los gorilas, sino sobre todo por el gran corazón de, de las personas. Thank you. Um, first of all, I would just like to say thank you. The welcome since the first day by everyone has been absolutely marvelous. We will take this affection and love you've shown us away with us. We have tried to give something back with the visit over these last three days, and it's been absolutely unbelievable. The, obviously, the safaris has been special, but what we'll most remember is your affection. Hi, my name is Shema Alan. I'm 12 years old. I want to ask this question to Tilo. How do you feel when you meet the mountain gorillas in this morning? <laughs> How did you feel when you met the mountain gorillas this morning? It was like uh, with my friends every day, you know? <laughs> who, who is the strongest? <laughs> No, I think for all of us, it's uh, an amazing uh, experience. Like the guys, I want to say thank you also. And uh, especially this morning to, to go in, inside the, the national park and see the gorillas is, is uh, unbelievable and it's something that I think nobody of us did before. So we're really happy to, to be here and to have experienced all the things here. Okay, okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tilo. Okay. Before we go on with uh, our raffle draw, you have a question as well? My question is for Ramos. How did you get into football? <laughs> How did you get into football, Ramos? I started when I was very young, and my brother was playing in a team of our city, of our barrio, and I started there when I was six years old. Y ya empecé a jugar con los que tenían ocho años. Me sacaban dos años y ahí empecé a jugar. Y después en mi ciudad, en Sevilla, y ya después en Madrid, y ahora en el PSG. Sí, um, yes, I started very young. My brother was playing locally for a team in Seville, in the south of Spain. I started at six years old, playing with eight years old kids. So two years above me. Then I ended up at Sevilla, Real Madrid, and now PSG. Okay, before we go to the raffle draw, okay, I'm giving this question to a young girl. You know, you know, the gentlemen have been asking a lot of questions, you know. Now I want girls here. Okay, okay. Uh, hello, my name is Absana, and this question goes to Ramos. How does it feel to be a, a legend uh, all, uh, all, all the time, best player in, in La Liga and, and everywhere? How does it feel to be a legend? Thank you for your word. <laughs> I, I, I think the, the same. No. no, muchas gracias por tus palabras. Yo creo que lo mejor que, que podemos hacer siempre cada año es resetearnos y empezar de cero. El fútbol es un deporte que no tiene memoria y yo creo que es muy bueno olvidar siempre lo que has conseguido cada año para seguir teniendo metas, objetivos e ilusión por conseguir las cosas. Yo creo que esa es una de las claves del éxito. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind words. Um, I think the most important thing is to start from zero each year because football doesn't have a memory. You have to forget what you've done last year and set yourself new targets for this year. That's the focus. I have this lady here. She has a very tough question for who? Ramos. Ramos, okay. Go on, ask him the question. 
How do it, does it feel to be on stage? <laughs> to, to be what, on stage? Or what? Repeat the question, repeat. How does it feel to be on stage? Oh, on stage. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the question. Come here. Sit here. <laughs> Are you feel good? No? <laughs> Nothing different. <laughs> say something, say something. Pictures. <laughs> smile, smile, smile a little. Okay, I think I, des I feel the same like her. <laughs> Thank you for being on stage. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, she smiled. <laughs> so it's time for the waffle draw now. But uh, before that, uh, we'll have uh, some remarks from our CEO of RDB. But uh, this is how we are going to do it. I think uh, we will have uh, names here that will be picked by what players? randomly so that any name they call will have a numbers that is the, the the person they call will have an opportunity to get an official photo here yeah so stay with your numbers stay with your numbers but before that let's invite uh, the ceo thank you very much david you know they say when anything you believe you can be you can actually be so when I heard the young people ask this, the questions, I almost believed that I could be a footballer one day, <laughs> except it's too late. Uh, but um, I want to begin by thanking you all for coming this evening to be with us in this partnership uh, uh, moment we have with PSG. I also want to thank PSG again for the partnership. I think it has been valuable for Visit Rwanda to partner with the PSG. But I also want to thank the players, because without you, there is no partnership. It's you. Uh, who makes the partnership possible because it's you that create the funds and it's the funds that make the partnership worth it. So without you, the players, there will be no value in the partnership. So you are uh, valuable in your own and I want to thank you very much. And I also want to thank you for coming to Rwanda and being part of um, at this moment, uh, visiting our country. I want to finish by saying that like you or like uh, footballers, Rwanda has a vision to win. We also want to win in the things that we do. We want to win in developing our country. We want to win in developing our people. We have a vision to win. Just like you, when you go to play, you have a vision to win. But we also, have, we also know that it takes hard work to win. And we value uh, our own uh, ethic to work very hard to reach the goals that we want as a country. But like you, we also know that it's about resilience. Uh, when you're playing, I know that you have the ethic of resilience. As a country, we also have a value of resilience because we know that for the vision to win, we need to work hard, we need to be resilient, and we need to really be focused on, on winning. So um, I think there would have been no better way of a partnership between uh, two people or two groups that believe in the same, which is uh, really winning and making the world a better place through the things that we do. So thank you very much, and uh, I wish yourself a journey back home. And of course, let me call upon uh, the representative of PSG here, Mr. Bruno Awikoti, the head of activations from PSG. Muriwe. Mwakozi Kubahan. That's it for my Kenya Ronda. <laughs> Wanted to say hi. Uh, let's switch to English. Uh, I will not bother you very much. We have players here, and that's who you came to see. So I'll just do a few words. First of all, I want to thank Visit Rwanda for having us uh, today and during this uh, trip. And I would like to thank you all also for the very warm welcome that we have felt uh, everywhere that we've been. Um, and we are happy, just like uh, Ariela was saying, we're happy to be here for the, the third time because we came for the first time with Yuri Jorkaev in 2020, uh, which was great right after the launch of the partnership. We also came a second time with Rai in 2021 uh, to actually inaugurate your academy, the Paris Saint-Germain Academy in Houye. Are you happy about the academy? Yeah. And last but not least, uh, our third visit today 
with our amazing players that I cannot thank enough for being here today with us. Uh, so, Julian Draxler, Tilo Kerrer, Kaylor Navas, and Sergio Ramos. Um, we saw a lot of things, a lot of things, from your beautiful country. Um, and we have met a lot of amazing people along the way. And today, we are pleased to meet you all, those of you who we haven't met, and especially, we're very pleased to meet you, the kids from the Paris Saint-Germain Academy. Let me not take more uh, time of you, and uh, let me hand it uh, back to, to David. Thank you very much. Uh, now, the superstar of the game, Sassaro. Sassaro. Sassaro, look into the cameras for the photo, okay? And smile, come on, smile. 